morning everyone and welcome to London. That was a bit of a stressful journey. I got the Eurostar from Rotterdam to London but when we got to Rotterdam it was almost not going uh, so we've ended up with a two hour delay but I'm here and for anyone who wants to know why I'm here, I am here to meet my literary agent. Uh, thankfully not today or I would be late meeting her on Wednesday so I'm meeting up with some friends and family and I'm very excited but I think first on the agenda is getting a Nando's. and got so lucky the light switch on doesn't happen until the 2nd of November and they've just put one on and I just snapped a little photo outside of it it's so pretty oh my goodness it's almost Christmas good morning everyone and welcome back to the vlog I am gonna try and do a much better job today of um, of actually filming because I feel like yesterday was very hectic and um, I didn't really keep very consistent but I was very tired after delayed trains and then I had to go obviously meet my friend and I was running a little bit late so and obviously with the musical you can't actually film any of the musical so I was a bit limited to what I could film but today the weather is looking okay I'm hoping it stays that way and I am mooching so I'm staying in Chelsea, but I'm gonna try and get a picture with Big Ben because it is finally, oh, there's a train, hang on. I am gonna try and get a picture with Big Ben because it has finally been unwrapped. It's been under construction for years. When I came last year, I couldn't get a photo with it, so we're gonna try. Oh, of course there's a train. Every time I start a fucking vlog, there's a train. Hang on. Well, I'll be across the bridge by the time this train finishes going past, but walking the Millennium Bridge, and it's so pretty. Random person. So pretty. Yay. the renovations that they did. It looks very gold. Not that there's a cost of living crisis going on and um, our government decided let's deck out a big fancy clock in gold, but uh, it does look pretty. I'll give them that. I'll give them that. So I've crossed the bridge and now I'm outside Westminster Abbey um, and there's all of these statues of like famous people. So you've got Winston Churchill there, David Lloyd George there, and they're kind of like all around the square. And I wonder if they're buried in there. Hmm, I'll need to Google that. So I remember 
for this. If anyone saw the vlog where I was watching the coronation while me and Paul were doing a old timers trip with Opa, this is where King Charles arrived on the little carriage here in the square. I really like this building. This building is really pretty. This is a fly or a wasp? I feel like it's a wasp. Um, yeah, and then he went in, in here, into Westminster Abbey. Kind of cool. I am just obsessed with this little balcony here. This is so fairy tale and so pretty. That's my favorite. Me likes. Why is there a pelican in this park? This. Um. Did you escape from London Zoo? Like. No? Oh, you took offense at that. Sorry, love. I mean, what a nice, what a nice little area. That's a really nice little cottage. That's pretty. Very nice. down the mall. I am walking the legs off of myself today but I have time um, and I am now about to pass the Royal Muse which is where all the horses and the carriages are and I remember it because when me and my mum were here in 2019, I'll link that vlog below actually, uh, we went to the Royal Muse and uh, it was really fun. Nipped into Space and Cave, did not realise that they had rare beauty here. I'm about to do some damage. So I've come into this little pub that's on um, the King's Road just for a quick lunch because they have um, a mix and a share and it's only three little plates for 16.50 so I'm actually quite hungry. I only had a little lemon loaf for breakfast at Starbucks um, but the atmosphere in here is really nice. It's pretty quiet. Um, I'm actually having a really lovely day. I've walked so much. I got off the tube and just decided to kind of follow Google Maps around. Uh, so I've walked in like a big circle. Um, well, got the tube and then walked the other half of the circle. Uh, seen a lot of the landmarks uh, and the weather is so nice. It stayed so dry. The sun is coming out and um, having a really great time. I think after this I will head back in the direction of the Airbnb uh, because it is currently I think it's back of one-ish. Um, so I'll head back, get freshened up, rest my feet, because my feet actually really hurt. Um, and then I will head back out towards the British Library, which is near King's Cross, to meet Alessia for the fantasy fiction exhibition, and I'm so excited for it. Um, but yeah, for anyone who is like concerned about traveling by themselves, I actually met a woman on the Eurostar yesterday who was traveling by herself for the first time. Um, and I did kind of stay with her and like help her through because it was a bit chaotic yesterday and I was like don't worry about it like buy a book or scroll your phone and just like oh it's got so sunny like it's so lovely and bright like look in here such a nice little atmosphere looking out onto the King's Road um, I was like just have confidence and do it like I travel by myself so much now that I really don't think twice about it um, but for me a lot of it is just keeping yourself busy like go with a plan know what you want to do and um, obviously I'm meeting up with a lot of people
you. I hope he doesn't get smooshed. This is 50 chain and it's always really nicely decorated. It's like they decorated also for Christmas. But this, I don't know if this is like an autumnal thing or if this is just how it always is, but. So I've quickly come back to the B&B to get changed into my outfit for tonight and I'm gonna head out to meet Alessia, but the weather has turned since I've been in here. I've only been in for like an hour, but um, it started raining and I hope, like I really hope that um, it's gonna stay dry. I do have an umbrella, but I'd rather it stay dry. All right, so I've managed to navigate the tube with some anxiety, honestly, this trip is taking it out of me with the tube stops. Um, it's complicated for someone with not much sense of direction, but anyway, I made it in. We are at the British Library and I am about to meet Alessia, who is the wonderful, wonderful person who helped me to edit the first few drafts of my next book. And we're going to the Fantasy Fiction Exhibition, and I'm excited. <laughs> This is how we spend a Halloween. <laughs> this is how we spend Halloween. Good morning everyone. I thought I would sit and chat to you while I did my makeup this morning. I'm aware that the lighting isn't amazing, um, but it will do. I did not sleep well last night and I honestly don't know why because I was so tired last night when I got back. I did so much walking yesterday, um, but I think it was potentially because I have my meeting with my literary agent this morning. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, and yeah, I don't know, there were some noises kind of outside, so that kept waking me up until it was Halloween, so maybe, maybe people were out, like, I don't know. Um, but we're up, and I am actually going to potentially go to Covent Garden first. So, the Curtis Brown offices, which is my literary agency, <laughs> still sounds so weird to say that, um, are actually right off of Piccadilly Circus. Um, and Covent Garden is only two stops after Piccadilly Circus, um, or one stop, actually. So I think I might get on the tube, go in, see what time it is, and I should have enough time for a quick mooch around Covent Garden. So I am, I'm almost ready, just finishing off my face and then going to head in. But I literally head back home to the Netherlands tomorrow. It's been a very short trip, but I have enjoyed it. Thoroughly. It has been so fun, especially yesterday. Like, honestly, I 
I don't really get lonely traveling by myself. Um, and obviously I met up with my friend Alessia yesterday evening, so that helps. Um, but yeah, like yesterday just mooching around London was so fun. Like the weather was so nice. Um, I think you saw in the vlog that I stumbled across like, I don't, I don't think it was like changing of the guard, but it was like training of soldiers, um, which I'd never seen before. Um, you know, I just walked across, uh, what's it called? The Millennium Bridge. So I got off the tube, walked across the Millennium Bridge because I wanted to see Big Ben. And then, yeah, by the time I'd seen all the stuff in like central London, I was like, oh, I'm like right next to Chelsea. I'll just walk down the King's Road because that's where I went last year with all the Christmas installations and there were some seasonal installations that I took photos of. So yeah, it was honestly like, it was a really, really nice day, but oh my God, now my feet are killing me. I have not walked that much in a very long time. And like, I don't wear a Fitbit or an Apple watch or anything. So I don't know how many steps I walked, but I don't know, 40,000. <laughs> I was literally walking for like, yeah, four hours, so must have been close to that. And I wanted to wear heeled boots today, but I'm gonna have to wear my trainers and then change because uh, my feet are too sore. <laughs> so I am ready, I am out, it is starting to rain. I'm gonna get the overground train and then head to the tube. Okay, I have made it to Covent Garden. <clears throat> it's a little bit windy, so I don't know if you guys can actually hear me. Um, but the rain is off for the moment, so I'm going to have a bit of a mooch. I have a couple of hours until I need to meet Kiara. It's just two tube stops back. Look at me. Look at me getting used to the tube. Who am I? Who am I? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was like almost throwing up with anxiety at the thought of having to navigate the London Underground by myself a few days ago. But uh, we're managing, just. Um, yeah, so Covent Garden is here. It's pretty quiet at the moment. I actually don't think anything's open yet. I think most things open at 10 and I think it's only the back of nine at the moment. So they're already starting to put all of the Christmas decorations up. You can see them here. Oh, there's still a little autumnal decoration up there. It is starting to rain. So I'm going to, I'm going to head inside. Got my picture taken there last year. The last little autumnal pumpkin display. I'm not gonna lie, it is looking a little bit soggy at the moment. So I did read online that this year they're doing a different display to the last few years. So I'll link last year's London vlog um, in the description. I think I've already said that. But it was like, it's been the blue baubles for a while um, and they've replaced them for the first time in a decade with bells. Look at this, this is pretty. Now the light switch on isn't officially until tomorrow, but I'm still really happy that I got to see them. There's the Christmas tree going up as well. Everyone's uh, busy getting Christmas installed. not to get the tube to Piccadilly Circus because it is only a 15 minute walk and I have an hour until I need to be there so one I want to save myself the money uh, not that it's very expensive to get the tube and the hassle of getting it and I thought it's not raining at the moment so I could maybe get some more content on the way Square. That was 
is like a five minute walk. I really like the lions. And fun fact, the last time I was here, uh, it was 2019 with my mum and I have a photo sitting beside the fountain, which is just over here. Uh, it was a lot warmer because I was just in like a little sundress. I think we came in May to London. Uh, but yeah, so I still got quite a bit of time before I need to hot foot it over to Curtis Brown. So I think I'll mooch here and then head over in that direction. It's a bit busier here now. about the fantasy fiction exhibition that we went to, me and Alessia, last night at the British Library, but it was very, very good. Like, I really enjoyed it. Uh, they had, like, the original Gandalf staff, they had a first edition of The Hobbit, they had a hand-drawn map of Narnia from C.S. Lewis. It was incredible. Like, for someone who loves fantasy as much as I do, it was, like, the perfect evening. Uh, and then we headed to Pizza Express and grabbed a pizza <laughs> before we both uh, anxiously navigated public transport home. But no, it was really good. It's only £16 and I believe it's running into December, but check dates. Um, you do have to reserve a time for you to arrive, but I would imagine there are plenty of tickets. So yeah, if you like fantasy, make sure you go and do that because I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I'm just heading up to Piccadilly Circus now, I think. Um, there's quite a lot of theatres. That's His Majesty's Theatre where Phantom of the Opera is, although I'm sure that that had ended. I don't know. There's another theatre here. Don't know what that is. Noises off. Not quite sure. So it's about to get a little bit busier and I actually need to find somewhere to change my shoes uh, because my feet were so sore this morning that I've worn my trainers which do not go with my outfit at all. Uh, you'll see them here. There we go, there's the trainers. And um, I have nice like little brown boots that I want to put on for my meeting. But because it's rained, the ground is wet, so I don't want to put my bag down. So I'm now kind of on the hunt for maybe somewhere to stop. I don't want to like buy another coffee because yeah. But, oh, maybe I could go into Waterstones. Let's do that because Waterstones is pretty close to where my agent's offices are. So I'll do that. I'll go into Waterstones, find a quiet corner, change my feet, and then head to meet my agent, and I'm getting nervous. I'm in Waterstones. I'm trying to keep my voice down because it's nice and quiet in here. Um, and I can have a little moment to manifest because as I came in, there's like a big sign of author events. Like, obviously this is, like, I think this is the biggest water swim in the country. Um, so they have a lot of events with authors, like in conversation with and book signings. So I'm just gonna sit here for 10 minutes and I'm gonna manifest that for me <laughs> for this next series, that I will be able to be here at some point for a big author event, a book signing, whatever in Waterstones Piccadilly for the Bonded to Beasts series. Let's manifest that. And I'm gonna change my shoes, and then I'm gonna go and meet my literary agent. And I, I still can't believe this is happening. saying her name wrong the entire time and I do apologize. Uh, my meeting with my agent is done. Uh, it went so well. Obviously I didn't really film anything while I was in there because it was, you know, trying to keep it trying to keep it professional. Uh, but it was lovely. You know, we get on so so well. Uh, she really believes in the book, which is amazing. Um, she's already been sending out feelers to the States. Um, and to editors and stuff, so it's getting very real and very exciting. 
um, and she very kindly took me out to lunch as well so we just had lunch at a new pasta bar which was delicious um, and I'm now gonna call my husband and my mother and uh, tell them all about the meeting Anyway, I came back to the B&B, I have answered some emails, edited some of my content, chilled for a little bit, and uh, now I'm heading out to dinner with my cousin. I will take you with me, but I don't think I'm going to be filming too much. Uh, we're just going to a pub restaurant that's like five minute walk away from me. My cousin currently lives in, I want to say Hammersmith, so she's getting the tube in, uh, so I'm going to go and meet her now. Hello, I feel like... I have been a terrible vlogger this entire trip but um, I had an amazing dinner with my cousin, filmed literally nothing, uh, we chatted for a few hours, it was so nice to see her, I haven't seen her in years um, but I'm going to officially end the vlog now, I hope this all makes sense when I edit it, I hope it's decent um, but thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe um, if you haven't thought this is terrible <laughs> and uh, give it a thumbs up if you want or leave a friendly comment. Um, it's been amazing meeting my literary agent and kind of kickstarting my official career as an author or the next stage of my career as an author. Um, so thank you all for joining me.